Hello, I'm Chiki and Sir Josiah, Sir JLG. I'm probably not in the screen. Hi, I'm here. Uh, basically, the reason why I'm doing this, it's a lot more easier to speak to a problem and explain things than typing a whole set of text and coming up with diagrams and images and photos. So, uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, the recent hacking uh, activity on your website. Uh, to explain this uh, uh, further, let's say this is our server. Okay, and on on the server is where you have your website hosted. Okay, now there's several ways to hack through a website. There's several ways to get into a server and to compromise it and to you know deface. What you basically had was a website defacing. When you say defacing, it's changing the home page to another uh, image. Okay, now the big news hacking attempts uh, that are really hard to do is what they call a DDoS. Uh, okay, uh, what is a DDoS? DDoS is a distributed denial of service attack. Uh, distributed denial of service that is when you just hammer the server uh, even though you get denied with logins and passwords it's just a repeated repeated uh, automated system the DOS the distributed uh, the denial of service attack is usually just attacking the server by brute force and when we say brute force it just hammers the server over and over with the denied requests, when you, this becomes a DDoS where it's distributed, it's done on multiple servers. It slows down the system, it could reboot the system, it could restart the system, it could do a lot of things wherein uh, the server just gives up until you get that root access. Root access is you get the whole, the whole server's compromise and you get control over everything. Now, did this happen to you? It, it didn't happen. Uh, our server has multiple layers of uh, security to avoid this from happening. And when this happened, not only your website would have been hacked, but all the other websites would have been hacked. Now, what, what happened in your case, uh, uh, although I wasn't able to look into it deeper, what could be the possible causes? There are several things uh, for defacing uh in most in most linux systems you have a file called hd access okay in hd access you could place in some lines in there uh where you or you could redirect any page going to another page or you could make a page show a different page pulling from a different server okay and in the hd access is if the file permissions okay if the file permissions of this file is not secure and basically whoever is maintaining the site could change the file permissions here uh, if ever this was set to 777 which is not a secure setting that means it it's giving access to read write and execute access to everyone okay uh, because once that file the dot ht access file uh, gets uh, changed by the in by the by hackers what's going to happen is uh, your website's going to be defaced now aside from that there is still you know exploits through forms uh, any type of form when there's a text box where you could type something in where in the forms you could see this in contact forms okay if there is a contact form you can see this in login forms you can see this in search boxes Anything that has a box where you could enter text and submit it uh, could be susceptible to to code injection, what we call code code injection through forms. And in code injection, basically you're typing in your programming code within the form. It could be PHP code. It could be even MySQL code injection okay uh, and if not if if 
if there's not any good precautionary measures done uh, within these forms, sometimes the code gets executed on on the hosting account. Uh, it has nothing to do with the with the with the security of the server, but it has to do with the with the forms on the site. Okay, now is this the cause of a problem? We can't really say because, uh, as I'm um, aware, uh, your site is powered by Joomla, and in Joomla. Uh, Security holes could always appear, but as long as your your version is always up to date, always download the latest version. If there's any updates, just download the latest version, and you should be safe. Uh, generally, you should be safe. Uh, and th that that's another way of of uh, getting through uh, a certain website. Uh, another thing would be. You know, there's still other ways, but the other ways are not as high tech as this. You know, in hacking terminologies, there's what you call social engineering, but social engineering is nothing but trying to trick a user to give you uh, server details through ordinary conversation or emails or IM or talking on the phone, or uh, it it it's it's more of a uh, a verbal type of communication. Uh, so, code injection, security of HD access. Uh, aside from that, um, kind of related to the form injection, is once something gets gets compromised, uh, a page, uh, even a portion of a page, or even a single image, where code could be injected. Uh, and the page could be edited, even even just given a small part, a small part of a page. Let's say uh, you have a home page that has a small image, and you only have control over the code of the image, uh, even though you don't have control of the whole page. From there, uh, some creative hackers could come up with ways to do either what they call a div box that covers everything. When we say a div box is you have a page, let's say this is your page, and the only area that you, you could hack is within a small area of a page. And this could be whatever, a widget, a plugin, uh, let's say it was a common, a common plugin that shows you the weather of the day, and it was coming from a third party site. And it was a small company that made this widget, and you installed it on your on your site. And let's say this was the one that had a vulnerability, not your whole site. Your whole site was secure, but you were using something, a plugin, an analytics tool, uh, a web counter, or whatever, a slideshow, all all these other scripts made by other people. If this had a vulnerability, wherein you could edit only this area. You could cover the whole page uh, basically by two ways. Uh, a div box, where in a div box is you come up with a it's it, it's a HTML tag that's a div. It covers the whole page, and from there you put you put content on that div box, or you put an iframe on top of it, and that is one common defacing technique. Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, I guess I have to talk to EJ more about this on on what he saw uh, before uh, the site was fixed. Uh, if ever the HT access file looked kind of weird, that could be the cause. If ever it was a div box or something, it could be caused within some something else on the page that was not secure, or it could be could have been code injection. Uh, there are several possibilities uh, we have to investigate further to really know which which one was causing it and but definitely it was not a DDoS which is a distributed denial of server the distributed denial of service which attacks the server itself it was more on a locally within the site within the site where the the hack the hacking attempt happened 